everyone! So this is my belated GDC video. This year was even more awesome than last year! Last year was really really cool and I met lots of awesome people, but I ended up making a fool of myself several times. Hi Diana, I'm Rihanna Pratchett. I'm the main writer for the Overlord series. That's really cool! And you happen to have the same last name as my favorite author, Terry Pratchett! That is not a coincidence, Diana. Terry Pratchett is my father! No way! That is so cool! So yeah, that was sad and humiliating. But this year, I totally played it cool. Hello, Diana. I design quests for World of Warcraft. You must have a very interesting job. So enough of that. The first thing I did when my plane landed was to text my former supervisor from my Tokyo Pop internship, Stu Levy. And he's like, I'm at this dinner. You should come over. So I did. I show up at the restaurant, and apparently it's some super secret dinner for social gaming people. And that was awesome. There were people that made that uh, Fruit Ninja game. There was one woman who was the founder of Law App. There was the guy that made the Puzzle Pirates game. And there was a woman that made that pimple popping game. Introducing myself was a little bit awkward. I'm a millionaire and I made this super awesome app that like 2 billion people downloaded. And I was like, hey there, I'm a student at Washington University in St. Louis and I eat ramen every night. But it really was very, very cool to see how young most of the executives were. Because what social gaming did was, yes, it took down the difficulty and in many cases took down the graphic quality of video games, but also what it did was to lower the barriers of being a game developer. So before, you would have to have millions and millions of dollars to make a game, but now you could make video games straight out of college. So since I had an expo pass, I could really only go to five talks. But those five talks were either really lame or not relevant to me at all. The friends that went with me had programmer backgrounds, so they all went to this talk called um, Efficient Shaders or, or something to that effect. But I personally would really, really like to go to production. So I saw that there was the, out of the five talks, there was this one talk that was uh, creating a more efficient game development area. So I really wanted to go to that. And then I showed up, but it turns out that the talk was actually just a guy with a poster. And uh, there were other people with posters in the room, and they were all talking about different things. And unless you were in the very, very front, you could not hear what they were saying. Ooh. But I went to quite a few awesome, awesome parties and just met so many cool people that I, I guess it was okay. I don't think I really needed a main conference pass. It was an extra thousand dollars and it probably just wasn't worth it. So the night after that social gaming dinner, which was the day that GDC actually started, I went to this women in gaming party. It was so delicious. Oh, mini cupcakes. Well, I did meet a bunch of awesome, awesome women that worked in games, including one girl that worked for a Chinese MMO company, which I would love to do. But besides that, the people that I really, really thought were the most fascinating to me were these three girls who go to this university in Chico, uh, Chico, California, and they each had a different skill set, and what they wanted to do was to move to a big city. I think they wanted to move to San Francisco and just start their own game company and develop games that are targeted towards women, and that is amazing. First of all, that you could do that, and second of all, that they were brave enough to do it. And it wasn't like a lot of situations where you have these kids moving to the big city, and they're all proud of it, but they're really just living off their parents' money. Like, these girls were willing to do menial work until they started making money. Although one of the girls told me that they still needed a programmer, so if you're in the Chico area and you want to help them, I posted that girl's email address in the description below. And then after that, I went to this Nordic party and many people gave me free drink tickets, so that was fun. I got back to my hotel at 4 in the morning and my friends had to wake up to get me. Sad story. But let us not forget the most important part. Free t-shirts. Of course, there was this free GDC 25 shirt. There was also this I am the controller shirt from, this was the Kinect shirt? Yes, Microsoft. I also got this League of Legends shirt, which unfortunately I have never played, uh, mostly because I have a Mac. I tried to use Bootcamp to uh, partition my computer so I could get both PC and Mac, but unfortunately my hard drive is full of games, so I didn't have enough memory left. Sad story. Coincidentally, those Game Developer Society shirts that I designed have finally printed. Woohoo! Unfortunately, they run large and are ill-fitting, but I think the design turned out okay. So if any of you went to GDC, make sure you leave a comment below. Tell me if you achieved your goals, whether it was just for fun, for education, for making connections. Uh, yeah, go ahead. It would be awesome. Three cheers for overuse of the word awesome. I swear it comes naturally.